Shall I? <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm doing my gold art award at the moment, so I was. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so I was hoping you could. What, what's the right word? Volunteer sometime to listen to me. Yeah, see what I did there, Ruth. I like it. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and this unit is about um, a challenge and a new form. And what I want to do is costume design for two to open film. So this new art form was photography. And my challenge was being able to take photographs of my own at work without paying for someone to take it for me. So what I did was I went on a residence, a residential uh, trip with the other side of the door group and Big Fritz. And it was a weekend where we learned different techniques about photography. And it was this lovely guy here, Adrian, who was our teacher. And I took that picture. <laughs> And that was basically, uh, we had to do different exercises uh, to the project. So th this was kind of the first photograph that I was taking. And you can see it wasn't very focused. And it was a bit blur. So, so, he, uh, he, so he was teaching me different technique. And then this is what came next. So it's a lot clearer and a lot more focused. And uh, apart from live, live photograph, we went... Um, to do bird photographing animals and I found it quite difficult because animals move a lot so I was like oh my god I can't do this but he kind of taught me different techniques on how to be patient patient is important Andy. so uh, this is what came out of it this is one of my favourite pictures actually the, the picture of the eye because you can see that the background is really the eye so I was like Oh, I did it, I did it. So proud of myself. And so this, those are kind of the examples that I took from that. And we also went and did a bit of uh, landscape photography as well. And uh, taking picture picture of water. And in this picture, you might think there's actually no one there. It's just water. But you kind of play with the reflections and things like that. And yeah, it was such a nice place. It was in Kinton. I can't remember uh, people there who were there, so they might correct me. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> so it wasn't just like the photograph, but the experience of talking with people from different generations, which was lovely. And you could see, you can notice someone here that we just saw, and someone here that we just saw. Hmm? And that's me, you know. <laughs> is that Laura doing a catalogue? <laughs> it is. Yes. It was it was very fun just meeting different people and as well as learning different skills. Actually, it was a brilliant, brilliant uh, weekend. It I was. Tell you how good it was. Well, it was really good. Aid's just so uh, great. He's a great guy and he's very laid back, but he'd organised it so well. He? Definitely, mm -hmm. with so many people as well. And from that, what I learned that weekend, I kind of went back and kind of trying to put that into my own work which she was with photograph the costume or the clothes that I've made and this was the kind of examples that I put that was uh, the two things that I've learned was taking full shot and close up of things just to show deeper detail this is like a close shot of a costume that I've made and this was um, the full shot so it was that learning how to present your work uh, by getting the showing the details of things, but also the full the uh, the full thing, and these are two I put actually two examples of two costumes that I made in photograph just to see. Where is it? Sorry, am I too quick? Um, yeah, it's a lo really lovely. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I thought oh, instead of paying someone to take photograph for me, I might as well do it myself. <laughs> so yeah. Mm. Any questions? <laughs> um, any questions? Maybe? So what's your next assignment then after learning all these skills? Um, basically what I want to do is being able to, because a lot of things goes online at the moment and you will have to take photographs of the things that you made to be able to present it maybe for a competition online or 
to, to someone who will not, uh, who want you to have a, a portfolio online. Mm -hmm. So what I want to be able to do is take qual quality photograph enough for, for my for, for me to, uh, for my work to go online. Because sometimes the work is good, but you take photograph really badly of it. It look the work look bad, and I don't really want to. I don't have the money to pay someone to take photograph yeah. of my work. So that's that was the idea behind this this, this journey. So I think any other question. I'd like to, to have seen your original design, paperwork design with the finish. The, the um, original part? What, the, sorry. Finish, the, the, the original origi garment. The original artwork design yeah, with the, the garment. finished garment. Uh, because the, I, ha I do have them, but because this wasn't about designing it was more about the photographic part but I could show you later on yeah. if you want to see. No, I don't mind. I do have them somewhere in this college I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I could show you afterwards. Um so so you're doing fashion is the fashion you're made you're uh, made no. uh, what I want to study is costume for theatre oh, open okay. film. Oh. So uh the, because obviously we have different braids and what we do, you can't just do any costume you want. So yeah. it has to be based on the brief and the subject. Yeah. This particular one is based on um, Turner, the painter, and it's the, 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 the painting is called Warship, and it was about, yes. um, mm -hmm. uh, presented in a piece of clothes about uh, how they were taking slaves, uh, different places, so the, the kind of uh, things it represents the, the, the ship and the metal, and the painting, which is very colourful, was the sunset that he painted. Mm -hmm. With the watch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> really, really nice. Thank you. <laughs> right. Um. What we need to, if you could do me a big favour again. Um. You can see some post-it notes all around. If you mm. could just write a comment about the presentation itself, or about me. Is that right? Yes. About the about the work about uh, as well about the photography itself because yes. that's the bit that you've developed, isn't it? Yes. It's your new art form, you. your combined Which art part form. Did you, did you like the best? Which part of the did I like the best? Ooh, it's, it's really hard to say. I like the animals because I find it the most difficult to photograph. But at the end, when once I learned the technique, it came out really really good. Just, so I was quite proud of myself afterward. So that was the best. Yeah. yeah, it was because it moved a lot. <laughs> but when you get the gist of it and patience, my teacher always say I need to be patient, but I like things to be a bit fast, <laughs> which which is not a very good in art. You need to like to be patient. So I learned kind of you know slow things down <laughs> a little bit from that. Yeah. So I can see that um, to to learn to take good photographs is is, is really important in presenting your work. Yeah. But also in terms of research as well. Yes, it, definitely. It, you know, it's kind of it's a good way of recording for the texture. Yeah. Oh, true, yeah. true. Yeah. Ooh. So about your presentation and about your photographs. Yeah. Right, okay. Thank you.